All right, guys, I can't wait to show you what we've got going on here. We took an old interior door that was in our office. It was really old, probably 30, 40, 50 years old, ugly as could be, and turned it into this beautiful work of art, and I can't wait to show you. The Naughty Artisan. Okay, for this door, what we did is this is a door for my office. Um, somebody may or may not have gotten angry and punched a hole in it at some point. I'm not going to make any accusations, but Corey, the camera guy, has got a really bad temper. So we start out with a really, really ugly door like this. We've got an old location that we've turned into a rock and roll office. Um, so the door's ugly like this. In order to get it ready for the epoxy, what we've done is we gave it a sand with 220 grit. Right here's where the hole was, and we used some uh, just some regular old Bondo like you can get uh, anywhere at your local big box store. I'll leave a link below where you can uh, find it as well. It's just Bondo. We bondo this spot right here. We let it dry and we, we uh, smoothed it out. As you see, we haven't done a great job with it because this is not the finished product. We're going to be doing an epoxy pour over the top of it. We've also uh, used a bare primer uh, and paint in one to prep this door. I went with a black base because we're going to use some really bold colors to stand off it. Um, we're thinking some reds, some yellows, some whites, and some blacks, and some golds. Just really crazy stuff that we epoxy on. And so this is the beginning base coat, and I'll show you what we did next. Um, I'm gonna go with a technique where we don't actually chop this or trowel the surface. So I've gone ahead and I've pre-mixed this uh, epoxy here. We're using stone coats, regular countertop epoxy here. Um, mixed it really, really well, because we won't be troweling it through. We're just gonna use, it's called a sponge technique. I'm actually gonna use my hands, I like to get it in. Um, the colors we've chosen to go with, we're gonna go with a white, a black, a cobalt blue, and a red glitter. I'm hoping to get some really nice cell effects. Um, and at the end, I'm, I'm gonna spray it with some black spray paint, I'm gonna fog it, and then I'm gonna hit it with uh, some copper uh, metallics in here, and this is a 91% isopropyl alcohol. And we're really looking forward to sell out and go from there. So without any further ado, let's get this knocked out. So this is Stone Coat uh, Epoxy's uh, black base tint. And when you're going for this effect, you want to use at least a couple of base tints and two to three metallics. The base tints and the metallics really react with each other and give you those cool uh, looks that you're, you're looking for. I've gone ahead and I've prepped this door. We used the Broadway Black uh, Bare Primer. Uh, Broadway Black is the color that we use to prime this door. It's actually sat for a couple of weeks. We want to make sure that the primer is set up and, and dried really well. If you rush your primer, you can uh, risk releasing ammonia into your epoxy and um, yellowing it over time, and we don't want that. So this is actually set up and dried for um, quite a while, and it's ready to go. You can see at one point, um, I had got a little upset and I might have elbowed this door and put a little hole in it. We've just bonded it, not even very cleanly, just enough to hold it. Um, we're gonna pour some base tin over this. I prepped the sides of this door. I don't have a lot of clearance. Um, with what we're doing. So I actually have used a clear tape. Um, it's just a packing tape that the epoxy doesn't like to adhere to. And it looks just like this right here. Um, so the entire sides of the door have been done there. And if you were to look right here where the mechanisms for the uh, latch are, we also taped those up really good as well. I could have taken them out being lazy. I thought it was easier just to wrap them up really good in uh, some clear uh, tape uh, and then get the pour done. So. Let's uh, get these colors mixed up, go from there. So I've got my black in, my uh, white, here's my blue, my cobalt blue. Then I was out of my uh, metallics from uh, Stone Coat, so my, back, um, my backup go-to is Black Diamond, and I'm using their cobalt blue here. And I'm gonna be actually real generous. I want this to be a really vivid um, door to almost pop. We, our, our office this is going in, we kinda got a little bit of a rock and roll attitude. Um, so we want our decor to, to match that as well. And that's where this red glitter comes in. I've never used this red glitter before, so I'm excited to see how it'll, how it'll um, look. So I'll just put that right up in there. And now we'll just mix all of this back up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these I'm gonna, in random fashions. I'm gonna pour this all over this door um, in no particular order or anything like that. I wanna use about half this cup here when I do this. Um, and we'll go from there. So I got a little more than half there. It's not a, it's not a rocket. It's, it's, it's not rocket science. You just kind of get it all over just like this. So I'm gonna get this here. I'm trying to go in all the spaces that um, I didn't get with the, the other colors. 
So I'm trying to fill these spaces in here just like this. And well, I kind of used up that white. One of the good things about the long working time of stone coat is, um, let's say I don't have quite enough epoxy here and I decide I want to want to mix up uh, some more. Not a big deal. It's this stuff uh, in this heat. It's pretty warm here today. It's probably about 70, 80 degrees in the shop here today. And what we'll do is, um, so we've got plenty of life. I'm just gonna set that right there. Let's put a little white right there. I'm gonna move some more of this black around. Then we'll fill in gaps with, um, with our red. I'm gonna take this red right here and we'll go down here. Here. So we may want a little extra color when we get here. Um, we'll start spreading it out here in, in a second and let's see how, so let's see what happens. And when you're spreading, you just want to kind of use random motions. I'm not trying to blend these together, um, but I also just trying to fill in these gaps here. Um, and I'm going all different directions with my motions. Um, so we're not getting the same pattern. We want like this nice look all over and see if we can't create the, uh, the nice reaction that people are going for. We're a little thin up here. I'll probably end up mixing some more and pouring right up here, but you're getting the idea here. And I like to just get my hands in it and uh, connect this stuff here. So it's important to measure the size of your door. So with Stone Coat, it's uh, three ounces per square foot. Uh, I just eyeballed it and sometimes that's what will, uh, this is what will happen is you'll be kind of a little short. I don't know that we're going to be, but we'll see. I used 32 ounces on this um, and a poured on even. We'll see. And what happens is these different colors, they try and fight each other. Um, they don't really like to mix, particularly the metallics and the base paints. Um, so that's where we get these fun cells and stuff that are coming on. So if you want to come in here and take a look, you'll see um, where they're kind of fighting each other and they're making this cell look um, that's desirable. I think that I, I like, and that's the look I'm going for with this. So. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit more epoxy up. Um, just so I want to get a little bit more on this so we can work it with the torch. Um, so I'll mix that up. We'll put our colors in and we'll, uh, we'll add a little bit more here. In the meantime, we'll let the uh, the epoxy do its thing and and fight each other. And I'm trying to break some of the surface tension just up right here, so that I can do its thing. All right. All right, we're back. I've mixed up a little more epoxy. As you see, I've got some dark black spots here, kind of a white. It's a little overpowered with white. I want to get some of these extra colors in here, so I'm just going to kind of randomly place uh, where I want it, and we'll move it around with our fingers some more. Um, we got the black here. Do a little stripe around there. Uh, I'm bringing some of this red. I'm not seeing any of the red down here. Let's do this. Uh, where we got a little white up here. Let's, let's throw a little of black, just a thin amount. Then I'm gonna put some more of the, the red right here. Kind of get it going. say a little more of the blue right here splash of it here All right, we'll leave the rest for now. We'll just kind of spread this around lightly. Just see what we can get her to do. To do that. And then as you go through here, after you've done that, you'll walk through and you'll see little pieces where the uh, where you miss. So you just kind of tap it like that, break that surface tension so that it can get through. Just little tiny holes. Get a close up right here. Here's the one. I just see the edge of this table on this end, so I just take my finger and tap it and it, it fixes it right up. 
Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just kind of find all of those, seal them up, and then we're gonna take a torch and we're gonna move this around just a little as a bit. Ready for the torch? All right, I gave it a quick torch. Maybe a little tilt. Let's see if we can get some motion into this baby. The top layer starting to move. Kind of tough to do on your own, uh, but you can do it. Just torch it and let it do its thing. Just a little bit tighter there. See this blue up here on top starting to run down and kind of really show itself. So we're seeing some of the undercolors. Um, Exposed. All right, so this is what I'm looking for right in here, just that kind of blend. I'm gonna heat this bit up and I'm gonna kind of tilt it, see if we can't come into this big white section here. Um, so I'm not necessarily gonna heat that up, but I'm gonna heat this stuff up above it and see if we can't move that into that, that position. Are you ready for this, Corey? You wanna stand over there. I can't see it, so tell me what it is. Is it moving? Tell me when we got a good effect. Good. Wow, look at that. This, this right here is the stuff that we love. This, this blend of stuff. Oh, baby. I like those colors. I like the way they're coming together. So we go through and find any other surface tension spots. So I like the look that we've got right down here. I kind of like the way it's blended together. I'm just gonna move this around just a little bit more, kind of like we did there, and see if we can't uh, get a similar effect all the way through. So I'm gonna warm up the epoxy and get it ready to dance. Here we go, ready? All right, that is the effect we're going for. One more trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna sleeve. I'm gonna let this uh, cool down a little bit. So I'm actually gonna take the uh, spray paint. We're gonna cover up the entire thing, and we're gonna bang it with some uh, copper metallic mixed in some isopropyl 91% uh, alcohol, which is really gonna make some cells that we'll get to see these windows below and see what's happening there. Really adds some really cool depth and dimension to this. Check this out. You're about to see some crazy stuff right now. I'm actually gonna take, this is a metallic copper that I've uh, infused with the 91% isopropyl alcohol, black spray paint. I'm just gonna do a fog coat over the top of this, just like this, fairly dark. And then I'm gonna hit it with this and see if we can't get some of those cell patterns to come out. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna hit it fairly quick. You don't wanna give this spray paint a chance to dry. Um, so I'm actually going to do it kind of in, in uh, sections 
as you can see, it's breaking up there, giving me that copper color, and we're gonna see right through to that bottom here. You don't wanna hit it too quickly, because this has got, it'll catch the fire. Just like that. Now the red's popping through and stuff. All that stuff we thought we lost, see it starting to come through. Hey, Naughty Nation, if you like this video, please subscribe to us, ring the bell so you can see our projects when they come up in the future. Leave us a comment, drop us an email, we'd love to hear from you.